What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is the Nibot No More. This is the best robotic vacuum you can buy for the money. The iRobot Roomba that has the same features as this robotic vacuum goes for over a thousand dollars. As you can see in this chart, the Nibot is half the cost of the iRobot Roomba S9. The Roomba S9 goes for over a thousand dollars for a vacuum. The better battery life goes to Nibot, the better suction power goes to Nibot, the better navigation system goes to Nibot. Nibot is just a better value with all the same features, if not better features. Not saying the iRobot Roomba S9 is bad, I'm just saying the Nibot is a way better deal. And with Amazon Prime, you can always return it and get your money back. Currently, it's $4.99 with $25 coupon, instant coupon that is. So, you could try it out, if you don't like it, return it. Now here are some of the specs of the Nibot Nomo. It has three different power settings to save battery life. The climbing height is two centimeters, so it can climb up on thick rugs and clean them very well. The battery capacity is 5,200 milliamp hours, which is around 120 minutes runtime, depending on the power settings. The noise level is 55 up to 70 decibels, depending on the power settings once again. And you can connect the skill to your Amazon Echo and your Google Assistant, so it is voice activated. The navigation system is the latest and the best, and you can even block off zones, and it comes with plenty of accessories. Now let's go ahead and set it up and see what it's all about. I get quite a few emails regarding robotic vacuums, but I usually decline them because they're all the same. But this one is way different and way better. And that's why I decided to review this one. So it looks like it comes with a remote and it has high and low speed on it and navigation controls. And it takes two AAA batteries. It comes with a user guide, a setup guide. It says put the dust bin about two feet away from any object. Make sure it has open clearance. You got 20% off of accessories. Uh, thing is about average size maybe a little bit bigger than my old one and I have a cat and a dog that sheds two ferrets yeah I have a lot of pet here in my house so three times the power I am all for it right here you have two side brushes uh, you need a screwdriver to remove them on the D-Bot they just pop in and out which is no problem two big charging pads which is great because it doesn't have to like be lined up exactly precise. It could just roll up on that charging dock and then charge the unit. Oh, and you got two rubber wheels with shock. And this is good because when it goes up on thick rugs, it could climb up on that thick rug real easily. Looks like this is removable brush, I believe. Yes, removable brush. This thing's actually quite thick. And it probably comes with uh, a tool to remove all the pet hair. Usually they do. And looks like you can manually remove the dust just like the other ones do. And this pulls out. You got a filter there. And I believe you can remove this filter as well. Right here. So you got three filters looks like. You got this filter right here, this filter, and then this goes in like that. that and then you got that filter right there. You clean it out that way, or you could just have the dustbin suck out all the dust from this container. So nice option to do both. Oh, wow, I haven't seen this. This is new. This is where the tool is. So it has that little razor in there. To remove the pet hair from the brush. And there's the brush right there. Wow. That's pretty smart. I like that. Nice design. And you can press this button to turn it on. And this is the charging button right here. And it looks like right here is the laser and it detects its surroundings. And that information gets sent to your app on your phone and it maps out your house. You can even block off zones if you wanted to. So you have a Christmas tree that you want to protect and you don't want the vacuum to run over the Christmas tree rug, then you can actually 
block that zone off in your app and the robotic vacuum will you know vacuum around it which is great and of course it has a bumper which they all do it'll detect the walls if it bumps into it it'll turn around and go the other way or it bumps into someone's foot and it'll turn around and go the other way ah, very very nice this thing is very cool and i'm actually excited to set it up i just love innovative products like this if it's innovative i get excited about it even if it's a robotic vacuum all right so this is the dustbin you can easily open it up manually and this is the vacuum bag looks like a standard vacuum bag and inside here it looks like there's a filter in here and you can clean that filter out i believe that looks cool and let's go ahead and put this back and they say about once a month you have to remove that bag and clear out the contents so this is the charging pads right here and this is the sensor that lets the robotic vacuum know hey I'm over here come and charge and on the bottom right here you got three rubber feet and it looks like you gotta remove this panel if there's any dust stuck in there which is very convenient I like that that's very smart and it's clear which is a great idea because you can see if there's any pet hair clogged up in there uh, looks like we got more vacuum bags so we got three vacuum bags pretty nice and we have an extra filter and extra brushes and batteries now for any reason at all you have to reset it let's say it's not connecting to Wi-Fi or you have to um, set it up again to a new Wi-Fi router then you could just use a pin and press and hold the reset button uh, I'm gonna turn it on press the on button you have to hold it there we go you have to hold the button down for a couple seconds and it's charged. all right after you turn it on by holding the power button down for a few seconds you want to go ahead and go to the app it's called Nebot home app you get at your app store open that up swipe to start oh, we have to sign in oh, create an account actually all right so I just signed in and I verified using my email address all right turn on your Nebot which is on now let's pair your Nebot to your phone all right let's go ahead and do that uh, allow now after a few tries I finally got it to connect and how I did that is I made sure my Wi-Fi was turned on and made sure I was connecting to Nebot not my router and also when you click on Nebot in your Wi-Fi settings you have to allow it so make sure you click on allow through your Wi-Fi settings and then continue with the setup it shouldn't take more than two minutes so let's go ahead and open up the Nebot app. Click on Nebot Nomo. And it, I highly recommend updating it. The reason why is because things may not work properly if you don't update it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now if you see offline up here, what you need to do is hold the power button down on the Nebot for about 10 seconds to power it off. And then hold it down for another five seconds to power it back on. That's a power cycle. And that usually fixes many different weird glitches or issues you, you may have with the Nebot. Let's go ahead and update. Begin firmware upgrade. All right, update is successful. No update available. So we are on the latest update. There's a schedule right here. And you do do not disturb or cleaning schedule. So let's Click on that and I'll set mine at let's see, 7 a.m. every day. Clean all. Save and smart map. Now it's not going to display your whole house because it has not cleaned your whole house yet. So make sure when you turn on your Nebot make sure it cleans your whole house so it can scan your house properly and if you want to block off any zones you can do that by clicking on plus and you can block off different zones just like that 
Now under the Smart Apps category, you want to go ahead and title the zone and go ahead and click on Prohibit Zone if you want to block a zone and save it and then your vacuum will go around that zone. And empty dustbin, just tap that. And now it's gonna go ahead and line up so you can empty the dustbin. I have nothing in there as of right now, so it's gonna really be empty. Oh, so it looks like it turns around to empty the dustbin, which is interesting. That's loud. Wow, that's cool though. So I just watched my robotic vacuum poop in a toilet, basically. Which is funny that it goes, it backs up into it. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It's like a robotic toilet. Charging. All right, very, very innovative and very cool. I love it. And so you guys set it to save battery life, low suction power, and then medium suction power is 1200 and then strong suction power is 2700 pa which is almost triple of my old dbot so nebot no more is way better than my old dbot when it comes to suction all right oh wow you can change it to french cool i can learn some french oh spanish the volume control. Wow. Muy bien. All right, let's go ahead and clean. This is the charging button right here. Let's clean all. <laughs> I got Spanish vacuum cleaner. Very cool. I love it. And anytime you want to chart, like, oh, you have battery life, it's 80%, uh, cleaning time, cleaning area, very cool. And then anytime you want to change it back to English, you can. <laughs> yeah, you can find your knee by in case you lose it under a bed or something. All right, so that's full power, 2700 PA. All right, let's see what it can do. Goes on the rug, no problem. He knows. That's pretty smart. There's that leave. So save someone $500. Click on the share button below. Share this video to anyone that is shopping for a robotic vacuum. Save someone around five to six hundred dollars. If you guys are interested in uh, Nebot No More for yourself, check out the link in the video description below. And if you want more innovative tech reviews like this coming your way, subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Later, guys.